Hi guys, Tom here, America's favorite hoarder. Hello. It's Friday, almost the end of September, and yes, I'm doing another Oktoberfest review. This year I started with the Bob's 47 by Boulevard. Better than last year, I'll admit, but still not quite up to snuff at 5.9% ABV. So, I was disappointed. I moved on to the Leinenkugels. A nice offering at 5.1% and in my opinion, this year was better than Bob's 47. I just purchased an avalanche, beer lunch. I just purchased, and there's the line of glass, if you're wondering. We'll turn that around because this is not about them at the moment. I just purchased, purchased ah, a 12 pack of Yingling Oktoberfest. 12 pack, probably about $17.50 for the 12 pack. So I saved a dollar by buying 12, I think. This is, don't know if you can see it or not, 5.5% ABV. And that's what I've been working on in the yard. Well, in the shed. Nice pile of mm, copper things. Copper things. Mm. But with no further ado, let me pop this open and give it a pour. It's a nice, as I said, late September day. I've got my fire burning over there in my fire pit. So I have the smell of wood and leaves in the backyard while I'm stripping copper. A slow pour. I want a little bit of head, but not too much. And that's not going to happen. It's coming back quickly. all day and I'm sure you don't either but a nice color to that it's a Marzon Marzon I say Marzon Yingling America's oldest brewery and one of the better breweries out there where I got this they also had the Sam Adams Oktoberfest which I have not had this year but I've been let down by them this year too with some of their offerings I used to be a big Sam Adams supporter, but lately they've gotten kind of weak too. Look at that. Oh, with a brim. While I'm waiting for that to dissipate, cheers. Mm. Definitely not as good as mine and Kugel's. And hate to say it, but not as sweet as Bob's 47. Rather astringent. <sighs> mm, come on, bubbles. What am I running an ice cream shop here? Mm. Give that a moment. Working out in the yard, stripping my copper motors of what I can. If I throw them in like this, I get 50 cents a pound, and that's probably a pound right there. If I take the copper off, I get four or five times more. So, not that I have anything better to do, but I don't have anything better to do. So, let's see what we can do with this Yangling American Oktoberfest. Ah. Oh, I digress. Cheers. Got a proper taste. Got past the head. Rather weak. Hate to say it. I am not one for weak beers. Porters, stouts, red ales, brown ales. Flying Monkey and Three Blind Mice are some of my favorite, along with Killian's and Yingling. Well, not Yingling. Maybe the chocolate porter. But Guinness, too. Mm, Guinness. I wanted to check in with a nice little beer review. Price is right, seventeen fifty for a twelve pack. Usually nine ninety nine for a six pack, so I saved a dollar or so by buying the twelve. And I know they won't go to waste. Uh, 
Taste wise, I hate to say it. Weak. Mine and Kubel's is still winning, in my opinion, this year. I will try the Sam Adams possibly next week if they have any left. And I have a few Oktoberfest events that I want to get to this week. Well, next two weeks. How many can one person go to in a week? But the Line and Kugel Snow comes in first place, followed by the Bob's 47 in second place, and then the Yingling this year in third place. Sad to say, but after Oktoberfest, you don't have much to look forward to until, yes, the pumpkins come out. This is last year's pumpkin ale from Aldi's. 6% ABV. I know I can't wait for O'Fallon's pumpkin pie with whipped cream ale, which is great if they still even make it. But there you have it. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, which is rather low. The... Bob's, I think I also gave a 7 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10. And the Lion and Kugel's better than that. I know there's better stuff out there. I can't seem to find the spotting. I haven't looked for the Paul Liner yet. So I know they're out there. Looking for a good Oktoberfest beer. Mm. Yangling, 7 out of 10. 5 point, what did I say? 5.5% ABV and about $17.50 for a 12 pack of 12 ounce aluminum cans. And who doesn't love aluminum cans? I love aluminum cans. And copper wire. That's all for now. Keep hoarding. Thanks for watching. Back to my hard work. Oh, yes. Now, where's that darn cat? Bye-bye.